Hey guys, it's Linda Lou from Linda Lou Creates, and I just want to double check first, make sure I am, <clears throat> I'm good. Okay, all right. Um, I wanted to show you this card that I made. Here it is, a gatefold card. So, and it has a belly band on it. Um, I was inspired by the fact that this Sunday I am leaving at 6 a.m to head down to Orlando, Florida and meet my son who's flying in from Tennessee uh, to go to Disney World. Um, that is sort of my birthday, Mother's Day gift from him. Um, I can't wait, I'll be honest with you, I just can't wait. So I made this card, um, plus my niece's little girl is having a birthday in July, So, and they live down in Orlando, <clears throat> so I thought this would be perfect for her. Um, what's a gatefold? Let me show you first is just the way you fold it. Um, you score it on each end and uh, it opens up this way. Um, the belly band then helps to keep it closed and that's where then I put my uh, Minnie Mouse inspired uh, punch art onto there. So um, I want to show you how I did this but I'm gonna make it a Mickey Mouse uh, kind of uh, idea then that I had for that one. Um, I have a friend and her little boy is turning two in June. So he loves Mickey Mouse, so I thought maybe then I would make give him the Mickey Mouse card. So, all right, so let me set this one off to the side, show you the supplies that you're going to need. First up, cardstock. And this is just a piece, a scrap piece of Whisper White. I'm going to use this to stamp my uh, sentiment on for the front of the card. Um, so I'll set that aside. Here I went ahead and I stamped in that. This uh, Whisper White measures five and a quarter by four. And it's what's going to go on the inside of the card. And that sentiment comes from the Itty Bitty Birthdays stamp set. I love this set. Um, it's got a lot of fun sentiments and you know what they're just the right size too. So all right So that's for the inside. I used uh, real red ink for that Now for the front of the card the card itself, let me show you that this is um, eight and a half by five and a half the scoring um, because math is not my strong suit I know that it's to be done at two and an eighth inches on both sides. So what I do is I put this onto my scoring board. I score it at two and an eighth. I flip it around, store, score it again at two and an eighth. Um, that way I don't have to try and figure out what it's supposed to be if I were just to go score here and score here without moving it. So that's my little cheater way. What I'm gonna do real quick while I have it is to go ahead and fold this uh, along the score line. Give it a quick burnish then with my phone folder. Okay. Hey, Kathy. I'm glad to see you here. How about that? Okay, that's off to the side. Now for the front of the card, here on these flaps, they measure two and an eighth by five and a half. So I have cut out of, it. this is the um, Regal's I hope I don't get too much of a glare on here. The Regal's uh, DSP, and it measures six by six. I pulled out the yellow out of there. I probably should have gone with Daffodil Delight, but um, I just happened to have the Regal's uh, on my desk, so I went with the Crushed Curry. This measures then, uh, it the, the, the DSP measures five and a quarter by one and seven eighths. I matted it onto some Whisper White. That measures five and three eighths by two. So you obviously you're going to need two of these then for the front of your card. So I'm just going to hurry up and go ahead and put that onto the front real quick. I say that and so I know something will go wrong so I better not say it. <laughs> so I'm just going to line that up and down that one goes and I have the other one right here okay and let me get that one on I have a bad habit of going out of frame so I apologize again for that too so 
All right, so there's the front of my card all ready to go. Um, because I have it here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the, uh, the insides also. Perfect little saying, can't believe you're a year older. Because I'll tell you what, with these two kids, I can't believe that they have gotten a year older. It's just amazing how the kids grow older, but I feel like I'm staying the same. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> so there we go with the card itself. Now, I went. At, I uh, already die cut out a, a circle out of Whisper White. <clears throat> Excuse me, in a, a scallop circle then out of Real Red. This comes out of the layering circle framelits. That's going to be kind of the base for my Mickey uh, Mouse head. Black cardstock punched using, I needed two out of the one and a quarter inch punch and one. I used a two inch punch then for this. Um, kind of play with it, see where you like the ears to go. Um, and then just go ahead and a little bit of glue on each one. The thing with using the, uh, the white glue is you have a little bit of a chance to kind of move it around then. So, okay, here we go. I think that one's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do with this now is, I need some, here they are, dimensionals to put on the back. Now where it's gonna go on the circle, um, I just, I kinda make sure I, I place the dimensionals appropriately so that they're not hanging off the edge of my, uh, of the circle, so, okay. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Now, on my other card, let me bring it back in. Minnie has a uh, Minnie Mouse has a red bow um, on top of her head there. So I thought what I would do. I still needed to dress Mickey up with some sort of a bow, and I decided to give him instead a yellow bow. Um, so I am. I went ahead and tied a bow. Um, it, this is the quarter inch double stitched ribbon in Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to go ahead and just adhere it down here, um, kind of at his neck area, um, with some glue dots. So let me get those going on. Okay. So there we go. Mickey has a bow. <laughs> He's a bow tie, huh? <laughs> now, uh, yes, the belly band. All I did for that, I have a piece of real red. It's one inch by nine and a half inches. And let me bring my card back in. All I did was put it across and then just folded it around, holding on to it, lining it up. Okay, just kind of made like little marks for myself. That way I could then remove my card, come back now and make sure that it's even and then give this a good little burnish here. Because it is the belly band and it's gonna be pulled on and off a lot, I thought maybe um, some score tape would be the best uh, thing to use or rather tear and tape, my fault, um, to use for this to help hold it together. So all I do for this is I put on this end a little strip and then because it's going to fold over like this I also put one on the inside on this side of the belly band. That way it's going to have double row of adhesive then. So, so let's go ahead and get that removed. The worst part of the tear and tape is the removal. Well, not bad, okay. It usually, I usually struggle with that. All right, so here we go. I'll just down and fold the other one across. So there's my band. Let me go ahead and slip my card in. Okay, slide it down. 
and I'm going to bring Mickey back in. So I know I'm going to attach the circle to the belly band. So I'm going to do that with some dimensionals. So I just kind of eyeball where my circle is going to go. So about here and about in here. And then I just add dimensionals then to kind of fill in. Okay. So far so good. Here we go. And now I will just go ahead and place my circle on top of that. I need a sentiment. So I will pull back in my scrap piece of white. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Now the happy birthday that I'm going to use actually comes from another itty bitty stamp set, but it's called Itty Bitty Greetings. There's all kinds of fun and fabulous greetings in this one. And I'm going to go with the happy birthday. I apologize if there's a glare on that. So what I do is I just go ahead, ink up my happy birthday. I just stamp it down onto my piece of Whisper White. Now what I'm going to do is just trim that down, which I have already, as you can see here. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, banner the sides of it. Um, some people will use their scissors and cut in halfway and then from the sides. Um, I cheat and I use my tailored tag punch to do that. Okay, so I flip it upside down. I've already done the one end here. So what I'm going to do is flip it around. Put it in. All I'm doing is sliding it in here from the top. And I'm going to use... just that end that uh, to, to punch it out and get myself my little banner end there. All right, from here, pull out your mini dimensionals. These things are fabulous. Um, they just go where, <laughs> instead of having to cut up the bigger ones, just use these little ones, so, okay. Here is now my happy birthday greeting. Let me put that on real quick and then pull in mini rather again. So here we go. Happy birthday. Now, mini is right here. I did add some jewels onto that because it's going, I know the little girl that it's going to. This one's going to a little boy, and I'm not sure if I'm going to put uh, rhinestones on that or not. Tell me what you think. Does it need the rhinestones or not, um, if it's going to a little boy? Um, so, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think, because um, I'm, I'm on the fence about it. So, those are my two cards. Uh, before I leave for my own trip to Disney, I will get to see Mickey and Minnie. Uh, myself, so uh, I'll be able to let them know that they've inspired me to create a couple cards. So um, if you guys uh, have any questions, please don't hesitate to write them out. Uh, send me an email. Um, send me a me message me on Facebook, any of the above. My blog is lindalucreates.com. Um, love to hear from you and uh, see if you'd subscribe to that. Uh, I'm working on building up a YouTube channel. That is Linda Lou Creates also, believe it or not. And um, so I'd love for you to subscribe there. So um, anyway, hey, I appreciate everyone hanging with me today while I showed off my uh, Mickey and Minnie gatefold cards. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And um, next time you get a post from me or see a post from me, I think I'll be in sunny Florida. So anyway, hey, have a great weekend, guys. Thanks again. Bye now.